guys welcome back to another video on my channel so today is going to be a bit of a different one we're taking a break again from all the programming videos to discuss a very weird question that came into my head last week which was should I get a 15 inch MacBook Pro uh, to replace my 13 inch MacBook Pro you can see my conclusion from this was a yes uh, to getting the 15 inch MacBook Pro over the 13 inch. So the question really comes to the point of why did I change from the 13 inch to the 15 inch? What are the improvements I've seen after a week of usage? And should you make a similar change? So the first question on everyone's mind is what are the specs? So this 13 inch MacBook Pro that we have here is got the tw mid 2017 model with 128 gigabytes of storage. 8 gigs of RAM and an i5. Uh, I can't remember exactly the i5, but obviously it's the Ultrabook i5, so it'll have the U processor on the end. Uh, the new MacBook Pro 15 that I've got here with a lovely black case is the i7-8750H, I believe, with 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. Um, obviously, this has the higher uh, resolution and obviously the bigger screen size uh, and this doesn't have a touch bar this has a touch bar so that's the basics of the specs of the two different MacBooks so the question on everyone's mind is why switch so one of the first problems I realized uh, a couple weeks ago when I was delving into Flutter development was looking at the the performance capabilities of the 13 inch MacBook Pro, I was facing issues in the form of uh, deploying software onto multiple uh, devices. So what do I mean by that? Well, I had a iOS simulator running simultaneously with a Android simulator while also running a Google Chrome for development purposes as well. So the issue I had there was basically doing all that processing power while uh, building new uh, applications, hot reload that's available on Flutter. The laptop was really struggling and I was noticing it. They started to experience some lag uh, and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So the question came to me, should I buy a better MacBook Pro 13 or should I just switch to the 15? So in terms of differences, it's just the screen size, resolution, performance, um, which is basically everything that that's key that I was looking for. So one of the things I also noticed was a lot of the time when I'm out and about working on that laptop, I did struggle to fit content on my screen. So what do I mean by that? Well, I'm the type of person who enjoys like, you know, splitting the screen in two, you know, having multiple windows open at the same time and working between two windows. Uh, you can see there I have an addiction with the amount of screens I have to multitask on. So I'm a serious multitasker in the form of I needed more real estate. So by switching to the 15 inch MacBook Pro, what I've gained and noticed is I can have a lot more windows open. So an example, I was at work and I was using Excel. Uh, normally on that laptop, I would struggle in the way of, you know, moving the windows into corners and working on multiple Excel worksheets at the same time. With this one, I found it a lot more, e a lot easier. I could read the everything it was bigger um, you know I had a lot more space to play with so that's my first reason for switching second reason uh, like I was saying about the flutter development uh, this can easily handle everything you know I want to run I was running two Android simulators alongside an iPhone simulator alongside web development simulations while running IntelliJ while running Ruby uh, RubyMine so I was doing multiple development for in two different languages all at the same time while having Chrome open with music on and everything. You know, I was seriously multitasking hardcore on this laptop and it didn't struggle. So that was enough to justify the switch to the 15 inch for me. So the question I raise is, should you buy the 15 inch or the 13 inch? From my experience of spending a year and a half using the 13 inch, if that's something that's within your budget and you're not looking to do some hardcore development, I extremely recommend this laptop. It's honestly one of the best laptops I've had. 
and I would never go back to Windows at, <laughs> in the current state I currently am um, from my experiences with Dell, HP and the Surface. I mean, I have a Surface laptop as well, but honestly, just the build and the, the quality of Apple products just doesn't compare. Um, and in terms of anyone who's looking to do, you know, some serious dev work, looking to get into software engineering in the future, uh, I highly recommend that you get this laptop. I think it's an essential feature. A lot of firms <clears throat> do operate on Macs, um, and if you're comfortable with Unix and Linux, and just generally the work environment that's provided by using an Apple device, um, you will really um, do well once you get into the later stages of your career or wherever you're going in terms of development. So I definitely think you should, if you have the option to put in a bit extra in, um, in price for this laptop, you should definitely go ahead with it and I thoroughly recommend that. So thank you guys for watching the video. I know it's a bit of a different one, but I thought you might want to break from the coding videos. So I'll see you guys next time and I hope you have fun programming.